Now when David and his men and his men came to Ziglag on the third day, I remember he leaves the war zone and he's coming home. Amen. They found that the Amalites had made a raid on the south of, of the Najib and on Ziglag and had struck Ziglag and burned it with fire and had taken the women and all who were there, both great and small, captive. They killed no one but carried them off and went on their way. So David and his men came to the town and behold, it was burned and their wives and sons and daughters were taken captive. Then David and the men with him lift up their voice and wept until they had no more strength to weep. Mm -hmm. So he just came from where, you know, he was about to go into battle, three days to get back home. And when he come back home, everything is gone. The city is burned, his little town. And this was his little, little village. Remember, if you remember earlier when we read, when David men or they move, even David, David with his two wives, the whole family moved. And those days they live in camp. Mm -hmm. So when they move, everything moves. Herd, spots, pan, everything. Mm -hmm. Amen? Mm -hmm. David's two wives also had been taken captive. An Ananiam, the Jerolites, and Abigail, the widow of Nabal, the Camelite. David was greatly distressed for the men spoke, amen, of stoning him because the souls of them all were bitterly grieved. So on top now, <laughs> on top of he losing everything like that, is 600 men that he bring from Israel who try to escape. Casal was killing David and all of David's men. Also now turn against David. So David is grieving. David is in pain, Amen. That his tongue is destroyed, his wives are gone, all of his possession is gone, and his own men have now turned on him. Wow. Amen? Because they're in so much pain. Remember I told you this many times. Hurting people want to what? Hurt, Hurt somebody. Yes. This is one of the reasons God always say, let forgiveness. One of the characteristics. Notice what Jesus said in, in John 17. You understand? He said that the love, the Father, that you give to me to be in them, in their heart. You know, he wants to complete it. Why? Without this love, every time you get hurt, what do you want to do? Hurt. Retaliate. Yes. You want to hurt either the people who do it to you or anyone close to you. Mm -hmm. Because you are in pain and you want to lash out. Mm -hmm. And how Christ fixes that, you understand? Is fill you with love. Because love casts out all what? Yeah. All fear, all pain, all punishment. Amen. Love makes you feel, I'll be okay. I know I lost everything, but I'll be okay. This is not something you can understand in your head. This is the lesson of the heart. Amen. You will know it. Amen. You have to come to a point, as Christ loves coming to you, you will get to the place where you realize, no matter what happens, it'll be all right. Amen. Mm. This is not something they head. And you'll experience it. Different people and things will do you things, and you'll find you just don't want to retaliate. Without this love, even when an anointed person touch you, you want to what? Attack. Mm. And when you attack the anointing, you're attacking the Son of God, and you're, you're attacking... The Father. And that is dangerous. The love of God has to fix this. This is why Jesus said, you understand? I have to sanctify you to prepare you. Amen? I have to do this. And I have to make you one in our love feast. And I have to complete my love in you. Amen. Or you will reveal yourself to the world or others in a way that is not consistent with your unity. What's your unity? What are you united with? The Father and the Son. So all you give your characteristics has to be consistent in alignment with what? The family crest. Yes. Do you understand the prestige? Yes. You see? So the only way Jesus can guarantee this, you, I have to make sure I have enough love in you that your behavior is consistent and conducive of our family. Amen. So let's see if David is. So that the men, they are grieving and they are hurting. They lost their wife, their possession, their children. Each man for his own son and daughter just weeping. And they all turn and want to kill David. Let's see how David react. And remember, David was hurting too. But David encouraged and strengthened himself in the Lord his God. So when they all want to kill him and David is grieving, the Bible says, David encouraged and strengthened himself in the Lord. How do you think you do that? Yes. You, you see, this is when you got to go, Lord, I know I'm united with you and you are united with me. Mm -hmm. 
I know the same honor you give Jesus, that honor is in me. The same glory you give Jesus, that glory is in me. Lord, the same love that you give Jesus, that love is in me. And as you are in the Son, so the Son is in me and you are in me. Lord, I know you are with me and you shall give me the grace to overcome this situation. You will never leave. Listen, you got to encourage yourself. Because everything, if you don't know a few things in this situation, you are over. Your situation has testified to your demise. Yeah. This is when you have to know something. Mm -hmm. And this is not a solution. Nothing bad will happen to me. Mm -hmm. Because it happened even to your Lord. He was crucified. Mm -hmm. And aggressively. And he tell you this. He said, trials will come to you. You think this is a trial? Yes, it is. This is a this is trial. Should he believe in God? Should he stand in God? Should he turn and retaliate against his men? How dare you? I lost my wife too. Should he get upset? He's been faithful to God. But he turned and encouraged himself. You see, these are the things God is always. You see, most of you are a lot of times we're praying, Lord, don't let this happen. And Lord, God, I run a strength in you. I'd rather you get good in the unity spirit. I'd rather you get hardened to difficulty through love. Amen. That when it happens, you will be fine. Amen. Because when you react inappropriately, in a bitter or grievous way, you let down and bring down our prestigious what? Family. Mm -hmm. Are you listening to me? You see, when you're all learning, you think you learn how to pray. This one, one of the reasons I wanted to give you the background. How should you pray to the Lord? You should pray for recognition and full comprehension of the unity. Full understanding. You understand? And knowledge and understanding and wisdom for operating in the glory of honor. Full experience of heart of his love. Mm. So you can be filled with forgiveness and peace and mercy. And all of the attributes and characteristics. Christ said, I have revealed your name and your characteristic. Always what Christ is trying to teach us is what? The characteristics of what? God. It's why when you don't have it, you bring a situation. And when you react, you're supposed to do as pastor tell you, you repent and go, Lord, I don't think those characteristics and my behavior exemplify your characteristic. And he go, no, it did not. Yeah. Now, open your heart to receive more love so I can show you how to deal with this situation. Yeah. It's constantly testifying when we are way off the mark. Yeah. Are you listening to me? And if you're paying any attention to your spirit, soon as your manifest, your spirit goes, that is not us. You are still united with other spirit or getting influenced by other programs. Are you listening to me? In Jesus' name. So David encouraged himself on the truth and what he knew of the Lord. David said to Avatar the priest, Amen, of Amalek, Son, I pray, Amen, Son, I pray you, bring me the epod. And Avatar brought him the epod. And David inquired of the Lord, Saying, shall I pursue this troop? Shall I overtake them? I love his confidence. <laughs> Can I attack? <laughs> Can I overtake them? Now, if he will overtake them. You know, yeah, like you know, he's just looking for permission. He just wants God to give him a word. I know God's strength. You know, he, just, he, just, he, know, he knows he's united with the Father's strength. He's the, no, all I need is the Father's what? Permission. permission. Yes, yes. he's not allowed to attack yes. without the Father's permission. Amen. 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 So David said, Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Shall I pursue this troop? Shall I overtake them? The Lord answer him, Pursue, for you shall surely overtake them. Amen. Amen. And without failing, recover all. Amen. He said, I'm telling you, attack. I'm telling you, you're going to get them. And I'm telling you, you're going to get everything back. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. That's called faith. David knew he could stand on the Lord. He realized he was united. He understand the prestige. He understand the characteristic. He didn't turn on his man. Which is what I get. This is the thing that drives Satan mad. Satan goes, I have destroyed your city. I've set you up. I have bring you back for you to see it and break you. The situation's supposed to make you just buckle and just go, I can't take this anymore. Just bring you to your knees. Say, I, I, I have created a situation to break you. You're done. You, you don't have any strength left in you. Your men are done. And then if, he, if that didn't work, you go, and I've turned your men against you that you guys can create a bloodbath among yourselves. The stage was set. 
But David didn't look to none of those. David looked what? To God. David looked to the Lord. He said, bring me the priestly robe, the poet. <laughs> and he seeked the Lord. He said, Lord, can I attack? Can I overtake them? Hallelujah. And the Lord answered. Are you listening to me? You see, sometimes when the enemy is attacking and you're just defending, what you got to do is, is encourage yourself. And how you encourage yourself is always deal with the truth. Realign yourself and go, Lord, thank you for making me one with you to the honor and glory Jesus confer upon me. Thank you, Lord. Everything Jesus has is mine and everything I have is his. Lord, this is this in, in regards to our family because these things belong to you. This is your thing belongs to me. Shall I attack? Shall I attack and take control and possession of Mount Isa? Shall I possess it and rule? Lord, look at that situation that these things that belong to you are not in place. Shall I attack and possess? And if the Lord say attack, you attack. Yeah. If the Lord you don't touch it, you don't touch it. You move on. Do you understand? But most of all, we act like cowards. When the situation has come, we cannot pretend it's not there or we back away, we run away. And the reason you do it, you have no confidence in your relationship with the Lord. You don't understand the oneness. You don't understand what Jesus did. Most, most people, kingdom, citizen, or church, they know this, I am saved. Is that the only thing he did? He just saved you? That's all he did for you? Didn't come for no glory and honor upon you? Didn't unify you with the Father? Not filling you with love? He's not continuously teaching you and developing you? Didn't do those two? The last time I checked, all of this is happening. So you have to know to get yourself, or we accept mediocre, or mediocrity as our standard. You don't try to get better, you don't try to get strong, you don't try to overcome, you don't try to overtake. You expect to get by or to be beaten down. You, you will not operate as a big black church that way. Big black church faced their situation. In the midst of extraordinary odds, they strengthen themselves, not on the situation, not even on the people around them, mm. but on what they know of the Lord. And then they get answer from the Lord. And they move forward or move away. Amen? Amen? We just read a couple more verses in this process. Verse 9 said, So David went, he and the 600 men with him, and came to the brook of Bezor. There those remained who were left behind. So he came there with 600 men. Amen? But when he get there, some of them, you'll notice, get tired. But David pursued he had 400 men, but 200 stayed behind who were so exhausted and faint to cross the brook of Bezor. So some of them just ran out of steam. They couldn't encourage themselves anymore. Mm. And David go, I love you, but I have to what? Continue. Mm. I love you, but I have something I have to reclaim. You see, in the process, you must, when you might start the pursuit of something or someone, whether it's like Nehemiah, whether it's to build back the wall of Jerusalem, or to reclaim the people, or to save the children, or to educate the people, and in the process, you might start with 12 people, mm. but only two of you might what? Finish it. You see, don't get mad at the rest who don't have enough power. They just didn't have the resolve. They might not understand the unity, or the honor, or the glory enough, or don't know to encourage themselves to what? Continue the process. Are you listening to me? He started with 600, but only 400 can continue. It's not how you start, it's how you finish. Amen? They were just exhausted. They go, I can't go anymore. They found an Egyptian in the fields and brought him to David and give him bread and eat and water to drink and a piece of cake and of fig and two clusters of raisin. And when he had eaten, his spirit returned to him. For he had eaten no food or drink any water for three days and three nights. And David said to him, To whom do you belong? And from where have you come? He said, I am a young man of Egypt, servant of the Amalekites. The Amalekites. And my master left me because three days ago I fell sick. Now this is what I talk about the Edomite's attitude. He does get sick, and the master said, what? You're, you're left in it. They leave you to die. Yeah. In essence, the, Amalek, the, the Amalekites had this principle. It's like the strong survive, yeah, yeah. and the weak are left behind. Yeah. Not so in the kingdom of God. 
None gets left what? Behind. None gets left behind. The Amalekites was a very serious and they prayed on the weak. Mm. Amen? Now verse 14 said, We had made a raid on the south. Amen? In the Egypt. Of the, Char the, the Charitites and upon which belongs to Judah. And upon the south the Egypt of Kilab. And we burned Ziglag with fire. And David said to him, Can you take me down? Amen? To this band. And he said, Swear to me by God that you will neither kill me nor deliver me into the hands of my master. And I will bring you down to this band. Mm -hmm. And when he had brought David down, behold, the raiders were spread abroad mm -hmm. over all the land, eating and drinking and dancing because of all the great spoil they had taken from the land of the Philistine mm -hmm. and from the land of Judah. So they're just partying up, celebrating their success. Amen? As you remember what I always say, appreciate your success, celebrate it, but stay focused. Amen? <laughs> stay focused. And they would smart, amen, from twilight evening to the evening of the next day. Man, I, I tell I love how these guys fight. The fight doesn't last an hour. <laughs> the fight goes on all day. Oh, even to me. Amen? And not a man... Of them escaped except 400 youth who rode camels and fled. David amen, recovered all that the Amalekites had taken and rescued his two wives. Nothing was missing, small or great sons or daughters, spoil or anything that had been taken. David recovered all. Just as the Lord had promised, you're gonna, you're gonna, you must pursue, you'll overtake them, and you will recover what? Everything. In Jesus' name. Also David captured all the flocks and herd which the enemy had. And the people drove those animals before him and said, Amen. This is David's spoil. And David came to the 200 men who were so exhausted and faint that they could not follow him. And had been left at the brook of Bezor with the baggage. They came to meet David and those with him. And when he came near, near to the men, he saluted them. Mm -hmm. Then all the wicked and, and base men, meaning that, remember, base always means undeveloped. Mm -hmm. Anything start out, if you know anything about a car, if you ever go to buy a car or a vehicle, there's always what model for us? The base model. The most what? Basic. Mm -hmm. Base means the most basic, undeveloped. Mm -hmm. Nothing eccentric or extraordinary about it. Mm -hmm. So even in men class, there are those that are what? They are made in the image of God, but not all are what? Developed. Some are base, meaning they're, like, they're, they're brutish. They're not developed yet. Almost like just the frame. Correct. Correct. They have potential, but the potential has not been? Immature. Correct. And so forth. <laughs> we heard you. That came out loud. <laughs> Amen. <laughs> then all the wicked and base men who went with David said, Because they did not go with us, they got tired and exhausted. We will give them nothing <laughs> of the spoil. Amen. We have recovered, except that every man may lead away his, his wife and children and depart. They go, because you get tired, you get nothing. You can take your wife and your children, nothing else. You understand? The reason they can do this, this back, you see, this has to tie it into sanctification. This, this ties into John 17. If the love of the Lord was in them, you think they'll do this? You see, when the love of the Lord is not in you, you're still base. You're still crude. You're undeveloped. You see, understand this. This is why Jesus said, continue. You can be united with the Father, but still what? Base. Go back and read verse 26. My love has to get it. If I said that my love will what? Fill them in their heart. Or you will remain what? Base. Acting outside of the prestigious royal family. Thinking outside. Of, because Before any action shall come, your thinking has to what? Be there. Your feeling has to be there. Action is nothing more than a solidification. You understand? And a validation of what? What you think and feel. The words and the do we do are nothing more what I'm thinking and feeling. So these base men who are not yet filled with the love of God say they can take their wife and kids, but not a single thing. 
So their punishment was they shouldn't be so exhausted. But David, 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 is he base or is he not? I say not. Amen. Verse 23 said, David said, you shall not do so, my brethren. With what the Lord has given us, he has preserved us and has delivered into our hands the troops that came against us. Who would listen to you in this matter? You know, who will listen to you in this matter? Amen. For as is the share of him who goes into the battle, so shall his share be. Amen. You see, no, no, notice it. So shall his share be who stay by the baggage. Amen. Amen. They shall share alike. Perfect. Either whether you went on or you stay behind, the share is what? The same. Amen. Amen. You see, Jesus teaches disciples this early. He tells them a parable. He goes, I hire some man to do yeah. a, some work for me. Let's say 8 o'clock in the morning. Some mm -hmm. came at 4. And I pay them $4 for the day. And then some people came to help at 4, and I pay them $4 for the day. And they go, you can't do that. They only work one hour, and we work seven hours. And Jesus go, isn't it my money to pay with how I want? Yeah. I see it all the same. They do what they could. They give everything they have yeah. till they get exhausted. And you give everything you have. You understand what I'm saying? Amen. So Jesus teaches disciples this very early. Some I will give the same pay that came out for. And some of you that have been with me decades, I will give the same pay. Mm. Are you listening? Amen. In essence, he expects every man to do what he can. You can't owe something against someone just because they can. Don't compare it's like the Raptors and the, and the Lakers. We just have. I don't want it against the Lakers. <laughs> You know what I mean? Don't compare yourself. Yeah. Is that the Bible said? Don't compare yourself among yourself. Different yeah. Different Please go ahead. See, we, I was just kind of picturing, uh, like our, our hearts have to be filled, right, with the love of God. Mm. I pictured our hearts to be like a like a house, mm. right? And the most of us, like who who are saved, Amen. right, or know that they're saved, there's enough love in the basement. Amen. Right? Because it's base, basic. Yes. Basic <laughs> love, right? So basement, basic, yeah. like basic yeah. men and women. So, but because they're not filled, the house is not filled, mm. then it, it, we won't be able to encourage ourselves, we won't be able to, yes. to, to give you know, the, the you know, equal share. No, so we, they're thinking lack. from a lack yeah. all the time, but they, they were full of love, even it's more than enough. Yeah. And the same Lord that gave this troop and everything into our hands can give us more than we need. But the thinking is not developed that way. No. Yeah. They don't know some truth. Yeah. Please. No, 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 I was just going to say their thinking is, what do I need right now? Yeah. What's before me? What can I see yes. in the visible? Yes. Yeah. And not from what the invisible, not Amen. from where you just got delivered from. Amen. Not from like just Amen. Amen. They, they can't see that. Correct. You see, and that's where the base, this is why the Lord is going coming up higher. <coughs> mm -hmm. You have to keep developing. Mm -hmm. One of the reasons people don't, they, I don't know people escape the scripture. Jesus God, I'm continuing teaching you, mm -hmm. which means you're rich. Mm -hmm. You can't ever stop learning. Yeah. And if it's anything you learn about learning, everything you learn a little bit, you feel you know nothing. Amen? Amen. Mm -hmm. In Jesus' name. Amen? Where of course shall we stop? Uh, 23. 23, I think. Sorry, 24. 24. Yeah, yes. And verse 25 said, And from that day to this, he made it a statue, an ordinance, for Israel, he made it a law, David, from that day. Amen. When David came to Ziglag, he sent part of the spoil to the elders of Judah, his friends, saying, Here is a gift for you of the spoil of the enemy of the Lord. So David, remember, he ran away. This is why I wanted to give the background. I wanted to see David. God called David this, a man after my own what? Heart. Yeah. I'll say different. A man filled with the love of God. God's heart is what? A heart of what? Love. And love is a compassion giving. Mm -hmm. David Hart, you see, people, many people quote the scripture, but many of them can't say, why is David Hart like God? Mm -hmm. David behaved just like God because God is always giving and forgiving and merciful mm -hmm. and strong. Mm -hmm. The characteristics is where David exemplified this. You see, David, remember, David had to run from Israel. David is, can't be a part of Israel because Saul trying to kill him. And David will stay there, you understand? And, and, and the spoil he sends back. Mm -hmm. 
This is how big David the heart is. Mm -hmm. They are in the, the, the super land and he is saving stuff. Mm -hmm. the strong, you see, this is why many of us, we always want to get strong. We want to get more money, more this. And God always going, what are you going to do with it? Mm -hmm. Will you share the spoil? Mm -hmm. Will you be ready to give somebody something, some food, some clothes? How much can you use? Mm -hmm. When the love of God is in you, your attitude is always how can I give? I want to give more understanding. I want to teach more. I want to do more. I want to share. You always want to. Mm -hmm. And you find the blessing seems to chase you down. Mm -hmm. Chase you down. Yeah, yeah. Your mind does not operate in the way you want this and want that. Your mind operates in giving, giving, sharing, sharing. Mm -hmm. You see, but you have to be filled with love to do this. Yes. And you want to get stronger. Only then you want to get stronger to be in a position to give. Mm -hmm. It tears your heart when you're not strong enough to do it. When you can't fix something, you can't heal someone, you can't fix the situation. Mm. Amen? Amen? David said, Amen? We, I think we said we were going to go to 26. So this is how the Ziglag church has to operate. It has to know you have to, it, it, you see, it is united with God. It has to know it's called for honor and glory is upon it. Amen? So it can be one with God. It has to know every time the world see it, it should see the attribute and the characteristic. Because Jesus is Christ said, I make sure the name is known to the church and it's very self and characteristic. It has to know Jesus is continuously developing it. Yes. Amen? It has to know Jesus wants his love to completely, you understand? Envelope it, consume it. Amen? That it arts them, exemplify characteristic like David. Mm -hmm. Amen? One, it always seek the Lord before it pursue any endeavor. It does not move unless it get a word from God. And once it get a word, it follow it out completely. Amen, amen. And whatsoever is gathered, it's always ready to share, always ready to cover, always ready to give. Amen. amen? It's always ready to give. It's always ready to share. This is the time. There are many of us, and we think, many of us, why we haven't moved into certain positions, God is waiting us to get the right characteristics of attributes. Mm -hmm. He so want to bless us. But he wanted you to have an attitude. First, he needed to have some understanding of where you are, what kind of church you are. You're, we're in the glory church. We're in the honor. The glory that's on Jesus is on you. The honor that is on Jesus and you. Mm -hmm. You're in the unity church with the Father, with the heaven. You're in correspondence with the heaven at all times. Whether you're acknowledging it or not. Mm. And you're consistently being developed. Mm. Consistently being saturated, enveloped in love. Mm. And God is always looking for the characteristic. And those around you should consistently see the characteristics of what? Love. Amen. Amen. And if when you are growing, growing is not just in wisdom and understanding. You understand? It's, your, it's growing in the attribute to share it. You must always be ready to share the wisdom of the name. Amen? And the knowledge and the worship and the resource. All the spoils that God get, gives you. Are you always ready to give it away? Or you always want to keep it? Do you think like the man, the base, bottom line, do you think as one developed or one that is base? You'll always know in your base. You always want to what? Keep everything. The reference are there. I need money. Ah, yes. It's never enough. You'll always know when you develop. Except if you got one, you want to share it. What's the principle? The more you give, the more you receive. Amen. The more you... You see? But you can never exemplify it unless you're developed. Unless you, understand, unless you let Christ develop you. You might want to give, but your, ad your attitude will be just like that. One minute, the very man you say you love, you're ready to what? Kill him, stone him to death. Mm -hmm. Amen? Then when you get anything, you're ready to take over everything. You don't, you don't want to give anything up. You see? And those are Edomite's characteristic. God will never accept that. He'll still accept you, but he will develop you. And he will not put certain things into your head until your development, you understand? I've been pruned, and your sanctification has complete and concluded itself. That he know you will inquire. Mm. You understand? He know you will listen when you get the answer. Mm. He know you'll recover everything. Mm. But he know you'll share it. Mm. Are you listening to me? Because those who don't realize they're in union with Christ. And don't realize the glory and honor. They're still God people. And he's still. Notice, David didn't just give the men that stayed here. What did he do? 
he sent to the land that he, he that he is what? Can't go back to. Exiled from. Yeah. He's exiled from his homeland. And he's sending stuff to them. This is what the end time church. I wanted you to have a good understanding what is a Ziglag church. I'm open to the Spirit of the Lord. It is clear to you the Ziglag church know they are in union with Christ. That no glory and honor has been come for placed upon them. They know when anyone see them, they see, you understand? The kingdom of heaven, glory, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. They know this. They know this. They know they're in continuous training. Those he loves, he's consistently disciplining, telling them that did not look like God. You wanted to keep that for yourself, even though you only have three people, you have six, and you wanted to keep the other three. When Jasmine have none. Hmm. Are you listening to me? I told you many times I can't rebuke my children. Can they share everything and anything? We can hardly keep up the food. But I can never go against them. Why? Where did they learn it? They learned it from the church of God himself. Amen. Their behavior does exemplify what they are exposed to. Amen. And by the grace of God, we seem like we never run enough. Uh -huh. Thank you, Jesus. Every time we seem concerned, it comes. Someone sends some spoil that they've took over. Amen? From Mount Isa. Are you listening to me? Yeah. God wants you to take possession of Mount Isa. He wants you to rule. Where is the question? What are you going to do with it? You have to distribute that spoil. Both among those that help you to take Mount Isa, there are very few Mount Isa you'll take by yourself. First of all, you can't take it out of the Spirit of God. You always take that, that domain with who you've put around you. You must distribute the spoil among, and you must go even those that didn't come with you. You might have started with a thousand and only two hundred fill, but you're still gonna give them all some. Are you listening? Another sum. What? Uh, how did he share it? Equally. Equally. Mm -hmm. Are you listening? Because sometimes our math work different. <laughs> you know, you get two percent because you didn't follow. No, 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 no. The same percentage equally. Amen. Because God is always is one. He's always trying to teach one. Mm -hmm. Amen. Mm -hmm. So I leave you with this, as you can see, the assimilation. How did David, he had a chance to revenge. And, and I love the display of David's character. David had a chance to kill the man that is pursuing to preserve his life. But it would not have preserved his life for to go against God. He tell the man his life is precious. Please respect mine, but he realized the man, so he run to the enemy. Amen? He leave his homeland to help the enemy. His land get destroyed. This man wanted to stone him. But he did not fight against them. He turned to his God, strengthen and encourage himself standing in the truth. Mm. Amen. His God give him a word. He pursue his enemy. He overtake them. He met a stranger that he don't know who the man is. And he feed him bread and give him water. The stranger, amen, end up being a friend instead of the foe. Mm. But all of this flowing off of his attitude. Notice, he going to leave the man. Why did that... That man own master would have been better off if he had taken him because David wouldn't know where he went. Because David didn't know where they went. That man led David to them. Mm -hmm. But that man master leave him simply because he was huh, he was weak and sick. He's too weak. Mm -hmm. David strengthened him. Mm -hmm. I ain't listening to me. You see? Mm -hmm. Yes. He's good Samaritan. He's good Samaritan. Mm -hmm. And that proved to be a benefit. Amen. Mm -hmm. We must learn how to operate. Now the Lord has displayed at end time church, he will expect. The good part is don't worry, you don't have to do it in your home. Jesus will continue to develop you to exemplify the characteristics of a zigzag end time church. One that shall seek the Lord. One that shall pursue matters that they need to possess and rule over. Amen? One that shall recover all the things that belongs to the Lord within your jurisdiction. And shall spread the spoil. Far and wide, that all men will know about the generosity, the love and kindness, and the mercy of the Lord. Mm. Amen. I don't know about you guys. My mind forever working like I always want to give forward. Everything around me I want to give, but my mind always thinking, but many other places. How do we get it here? Mm. It never stops. And that, that development comes from the Lord. How do we distribute? Amen. Yeah. And how we the church that has been called move from being base. Amen? To being refined. Operating like your Lord. I am trusting that you will be pastor to operate in the end time church in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen.
look at somebody and say, I thank God you are one with the Father. Thank, thank God, God, God you're one, one with the Father. Father. I thank God the love of the Father is in you. I thank God, God the love of the Father is in you. And envelopes you. And envelopes you. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. I thank God. I thank God. You have the characteristic. You have the characteristic. Like Brother David. Like Brother David. Of the end time church. Of the end time church. Seeking the Lord. Seeking the Lord. Responding to the answer. Responding to the answer. Recovering the things of the Lord. Recovering the things of the Lord. And sharing the spoil. And sharing the spoil. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Thank God Amen. for your life. Amen. If you still have the strength to cross the river of the Zor, will you stand up? Amen. Amen. Jesus. And if you don't, I'm still going to pray for you. Amen. 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 Jesus. You are the Ziklag Amen. Church. Amen. Amen. You have been prepared by the hand of God, Amen. sanctified Amen. by the word of truth. You have been given the model. Amen. Amen. You have an example to follow. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. You've been called, hallelujah, to rule and judge over Mount Esau. Amen. The den of corruption. You're in the midst of Philistine territory. The enemy is hoping to bomb your house. Amen. Yes, Amen. But even if he does, he will seek a word from the Lord. He will respond to the Amen. Lord. Hallelujah. You will recover all. Amen. Amen. And you shall share. Amen. 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 Because that's the one thing the Edomites don't, don't do. do. They take from the weak and leave them to die. Amen. They take advantage of their fellow yes, man. Yes, they do. Amen. They kill Abel. They don't help Abel. Amen. Let's pray. Merciful Father, Lord of Lords, King of Kings, we just so thank you for finishing the message of Ziklag, the Amen. End Times Church. Amen. It was such an awesome Amen. message. Amen. It was so on time. Amen. Christ said, you can read the weather. Amen. Can, sailors can, but you can't read the spiritual signs. Amen. You don't know the time, the context, the season Amen. you're Amen. in. You don't know I'm preparing the deliverers to rise Amen. up. Amen. Mount Zion to rule and judge and possess and make fruitful Mount Esau. Father, let this be a wake-up call. Amen. Amen. We just so thank you for keeping us in the name, the knowledge, and the worship. Hallelujah. We just so thank you for sanctifying us in the truth of the name, the knowledge, and the worship, the truth of your word, yes, so Lord. that your joy may be perfected and completed and fill our hearts and souls and your love, Father. Yes, Lord. Your joy is our strength and your love is our compassion to help our fellow man. So like Nehemiah, when we see things broken down, we will get down and seek your face, yes, Lord. knowing that you are the trustworthy God, the capable God, the Lord of heaven, the Lord of earth, the Lord is always true to his promises, so we can stand on those promises, and know, Father, you shall recover everything the enemy has stolen. Yes, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. We so thank you for the power and authority of Jesus Christ, Father. As, Father, he exalted you, you exalted him with all power and authority, Father. And all those, Father, that have come into him, Father, you have given him the grace to give upon him, us, Father, the same glory and honor prestige Amen. that was given to him. We thank you for making us part of the royal heritage. Yes, Amen. We thank you for giving us the signet ring on us. We thank you for being of the royal Dominican monarchy. Amen. And even the feeble... The spiritually feeble, you shall make strong and noble like the house of David. All will be given the spoils and the yes, glory. Lord. When Christ defeated sin and death, he rose with all power and authority. And he goes, I'm going to give to everyone, strong and weak, rich and poor. I don't care if they're my children, I'm giving to them. Oh, Father, we thank you for giving us that greatest gift, the gift of your Holy Spirit, confirming the, confirming the same glory and honor. Yes, and we Lord. thank you, Father, that when the world looks at us, they can see a difference. Mm -hmm. That we don't blend into them, Father. Mm -hmm. That we stand out as an example for them, yes. Father. Arousing them to jealousy, Lord, in the name of Jesus. Oh, Father.
Father, we thank you for continuously teaching us, <laughs> training us in righteousness, yes, rebuking Lord. us, correcting us, yes, Father, forever encouraging us. We thank you for that word of truth to discern good from evil, right from wrong, darkness from light. Father, that we might not be confused and think bitter is sweet and sweet is bitter. We thank you for breaking us away from all the conforming behavior patterns of this world, Father, renewing the entirety of our mind and protecting our mind in the name, the knowledge, and the worship that you might use our mind alone, that our mind might be set apart, sanctified unto you, that we might be a clean instrument unto your will, and that your anointing might flow in us and through us and around all upon us, Father. Father, we thank you for the sanctuary water, bringing everything back to life in the name of Jesus, rising from our knees to our waist, over our head, drowning in it, Father, that your love, Father, beyond all height, width, and depth, might drown out our flesh forever and ever. We thank you for completing us, perfecting us in your love, that love that casts out all fear, that love that bears all, endures all, and hopes all, even when the closest to us want to kill us. Oh, Father. Christ was betrayed by Peter. He was betrayed by Judas. He was betrayed by his own people. David was betrayed. But because they had the same heart, the same love, Father, they rose up. They encouraged. They strengthened themselves. Even when Christ was forsaken by his own father, he said, My God, my God, why have you forsaken me? But he still said, Forgive them, for they know not what they do. I still give my forgiveness to them. Oh, Amen. doesn't matter that they love me. Doesn't matter that they did love me. I still forgive them all. Mm. Oh, Father, I just so thank you, Father, for showing us your name and your characteristics. Amen. Yes, Father. I just so thank you for preparing us for the end times, for we know the trials, the tribulations, the temptations, they shall come. Yes. yes. Father, we know we are in Ziklag. We know we are an enemy. Territory. Amen. But we know who we are, your Zionites. Yes. We know our mission. We know our task. We know the attitude, Father. And now we know the simulation model. What to follow. You always give us the pattern, Father. Amen. And Father, and whenever we face the danger, Father, whenever things are broken down and destroyed, whenever we've lost all, Father, help us to remember. Mm. Help us to have your heart, Father, to yes, seek your Jesus. face as a vital necessity on the ground of your word, to stand on your promise yes. that you shall never leave us, never forsake us, yes. and that we can do all things through Christ, that greater is he that is than he that is in the world, and you gave us life and life to the full, and everything the enemy has stolen, everything that the locusts have eaten, you shall restore. You shall pour out your spirit in all men. So thank you for this time, Father. We look to you, Father. We don't want to be normal men and women. We want to be the supernatural sons and daughters of God. We want to move beyond salvation. We want to move beyond just being qualified by the name, Father. Father, we want to be filled, led, controlled by the Holy Spirit. Yes. We want, Father, thank you, Jesus, to have your glory achieved through us and to help our fellow man. Oh, Father, we want so much to bring your righteousness and justice, your kingdom example to all men, Father. We want to be your witnesses unto the ends of the earth. Father, help us always remember to seek your face, Father. To obey you, Lord. To continue to have faith in your trust and your capability, Father. To recover all if we are told to at the right time and the right place, Father. And help us to share it, Father. Help us to know that to give is better than to receive. Hallelujah. Father, you couldn't have made it more clear today, Father. And I thank you, Father, for keeping us riveted in our seats today, Father. Oh, Father, keeping your word alive and active like a sharp double-edged sword. Thank you, Jesus. Motivating us, encouraging us, yes. doing that deepest surgery to separate oh, soul and spirit, yes. bone and marrow, yes. Father, yes. where yes. everything is laid bare before you, Father. Uh, you know our iniquities. You know our weaknesses. Yes, you know our distresses, Father. But you give us grace upon grace for every evil oh, tendency. Yes. Your spirit will not bow down. Your spirit will not compromise. Your spirit will not give up. Amen. So we thank you for being relentless, mm. Father. Mm. And we so thank you, Father, for Father, all you are doing for us right yes, now in this time and place. 
I don't know what more we could ask. Amen. Father, you put us in such an awesome time. You put us in such an awesome church. Father, your presence is always with us. Amen. Your love is in our heart, motivates. Your truth sets us free, Father. We thank you for the bounty of your word. Riches incomparable, Father. Uh, uh. Oh, Father, we thank you for feeding us continuously from up on high in the name of Jesus. And we thank you for the opportunity that is set before us to do your will, to clothe the naked, to feed the hungry, to welcome and entertain the strangers, Father, to set the prisoners free, to have the lepers, Father, be cleansed, to let the dead rise, Father, to let the lame walk, Father, to educate and enlighten all men, Father. What an awesome administration you have fit and qualified yes, us you for, Lord, yes. Father. Help us to continuously learn. Yes, Lord. Help us to humble ourselves Amen. under your mighty hand. Amen. And in due time, you shall lift us Amen. up. Amen. Because the steps of a good man are ordered Amen. by the Lord. Amen. And if you follow, the results are yes. guaranteed. Amen. The law of the Spirit shall surely overcome the law of uh, sin and death. Hallelujah. Oh, Father, we just so thank you, Father. Oh, okay. And may we all remember in the dark what we learned in the light. Amen. Be like David. Amen. And in that darkest hour, yes. we shall look to your truth Amen. and strengthen Amen. and encourage Amen. ourselves. Yes, Amen. Rise again. Amen. Rise, Zion, rise! Amen. Put on your garments. Yes. Oh, thank you, Jesus. Thank, thank you, you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Father, we just love you with the love yes. you've given. Yes. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Woo. Thank you, Jesus, for the grace, the love, and love, and keep on loving. And let all the fruits of that love be apparent to all. They shall know. You are my disciples. Amen. Amen. By how you love Amen. and share mm. with one another. Oh, Lord. May you be blessed today. Amen. And may you continue to write the law upon our heart uh, yes, that we might delight yes, to do your will. Yeah. To you be the honor and glory forever and ever. Thank you for the conference of honor and glory. In Jesus' name we say. Amen. Amen.